what is going on YouTube? We got little as you can tell from the title here. You can obviously tell from the title. Um went out to Best Pro Shops, didn't record inside because I kinda of forgot to, and I was kinda of with some people I didn't really want to record with. But I had $120 in Bass Pro Shops gift cards and I'm gonna show you what I spent on. Just got with it. Got a couple things I needed, got a couple things I wanted here and there. But I'm actually excited because I get to kinda of, kinda of, I didn't really look at everything after I bought it too much. Cause I kinda wanted to wait and open everything in the video and kinda explain why I got it stuff here. But let's go to the first oh, oh I just kicked the camera. Yes. Sick. Got two bags. It was three bags, I just combined two bags and double bagged it. Which fast pro shops really could have done. There's nothing else in this bag besides this big puppy right here. Boom, this big This is a Plano Flex and Go satchel. From the two little Utility box right there and the one big compartment here. Got this because as some of you know, as some of you don't, I have a John boat. Don't really ever have the best storage for it or nothing. And even when I get the new boat when I turn 16, I'm gonna try to save up, try to get a nice boat with a gas motor and stuff. Want a good storage system here. And basically it's a little satchel. Strap it over. Take this rubber piece, straps over, this comes out. Yeah, the uh, other one comes out too, and then you got yourself a handle, and you got this big compartment here. I'll kind of go over this in a minute here. We'll go over all the tackle first, and basically what I got, I got it for the boat. Fits perfectly where I want it to, and I'll make a video one day. I'll kind of go over my John boat, and some of you guys probably don't know or nothing. What the heck is this? Oh, it's my visors. Oh, got this visor too. And a, and a, and a hat. Okay, I don't know if you can see. But, that was that. Came with visor and a couple things put in there. Alright, stump out. Big mambo jumbo. Lots of tackle. Lots of tackle. Lots of tackle. I'm gonna go over it one by one here. As they're sitting on my computer. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the first thing I grabbed up. Couple packs of these Bash Pro Shop Sticko Senkos. I think these are really the best quality for the best price, in my opinion here. Um, the ones I've always had luck with. These are probably my favorite Senkos of any kind, besides the striking at KVD Ocho, but they just don't have enough durability. Well, they have enough durability, they just don't. Uh, they're kind of more on the expensive side. Like, these are like a couple bucks or a couple cents more or something maybe like a dollar more and you get 16 of them instead of like eight the striking ones are good over here and there got those in a blue go color and i got them in i forgot what it's called already watermelon purple fleck it's supposed to say flake but i call it fleck because it doesn't have the a there but there's the blue go looks like you get a 16 pack of these and these are five and three eighths inches. Yeah, five and three eighths inches. I've had a lot of luck with these using this color and this same length and everything. A shorter length would work too if you're gonna go with like a Ned Rig system or a drop shot. I don't know why. Some people drop shot Senkos and get luck on them, but yeah, go ahead and pull this purple fleck out. That blue go one's a really good color. Or I mean, I've never tried this one, but I think I'm. I may have, but it, it looks like it's going to do some damage. Uh, look at that. These are just the right amount of slime on them. Like, you know, baits are kind of greasy and stuff. Perfect amount of little grease on it. And colors just... You might not be able to see it as well as I can because you're on a camera here. But it's a really good color. Shines real bright with the light. Very, very vibrant kind of vibe I get from that. And I kind of like that. Alright, all right. next we're kind of going chronicle, chronological order here, well kind of chronological, I got, uh, I'll go, I'll go ahead and, let's go with these, got these swim baits here, and I got them in a blue gold color, I'm not going to take any out because I don't feel like kind of opening it, but I got these, these are bigger, a little bit bigger swim baits, what is, it's a, you get a five pack and they're 4.8 inches long, they're, these are a decent amount of weight, 
Um, I use these on underspins, Texas rig, and sometimes if they get bit up at the head, I'll keep them and throw them on a jig later on or a chatterbait. But I usually get the 4.8 inch because you can keep churning it down and using and using and using until it gets to, to where you can't use it. Well, it's a really good length and it's bluegill, bluegill flash is what it's called. These are called, these are tournament cheer speed chat. I use these, they're my favorite swim baits by far I've ever used. And yeah, those, they're really nice. Now, I have something, I'll put these to the side for now and kind of show you a little pair up I got. But I haven't ever really used these at all ever. I got them in an Okeechobee craw color. And that's something I've wanted to try to use the Strike King. Striking Rage Tail Space, the Rage Space Monkey, Okeechobee Crawl. You get a six pack. These are about five ninety nine. By the way, these Senko packets are five ninety nine. These I think were five something or four something. I I'll look at the receipt and show you guys. I can even show you guys. Kind of hard. But it looks because some people on the internet are like, woo, woo 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 and stuff. But Rage Space Monkey Okeechobee Crawl. Go ahead and take one out of the package here. Now these Rage Tails are also with the coffee scent, they're pretty nice. God, I am the worst person at opening packages ever to be seen. Comes in that little clamshell, that's what I really like. A lot of big companies should start doing that more. Strike King's been doing it for a while, these things here. Crack them, crack, crack. Alright, oh, that is sexy. Never had one of these in my hand before. They're real nice. Get that perfect blue Okeechobee crawl color. And it's like blue, purple, like kind of a bluish fleck. Blue, like a blue flake on the bottom with mixed with that same color up here. A little bit mix up of blue. Got that nice coffee scent. They're nice, and they got those appendages that stick to the side of here. I'm not gonna rip them off because keeps them durable but real nice little bait here just start making myself use these more because they're pretty nice looking the only thing I don't like is that you only get like six of them you'll get the rage crawls it's almost the same thing and you get like seven of them seven eight but these are all nice still like cooking baits better Bass Pro Shops doesn't sell cooking baits They don't sell Guggen Baits. I actually called Bass Pro on the phone. And I was like, do you guys sell Guggen Baits? And the dude started laughing. He's like, yeah, we got them all day. I'm like, oh, so you guys sell the Guggen Baits, like the Guggen Squad's Baits? I'm like, he's like, no, yeah, we got Guggen Baits. We got Baits here. He thought I was joking. Man. It was kind of funny. Wish I would have got that on the record. All right. All right, here we go. Next thing I picked up after this, after I picked up the Rage Shows, got... I saw this little underspin. I was like, you know what? I can put that with these swim baits here and then match up perfect. I could have got a black head or a white head. They wouldn't match as good as that blue head would with that. This is the best matching color I could find for those swim baits. And it's a good color all around because I have other swim baits that are white and I don't want a white, really underspin head for a white swim bait. Not really my thing there. But it's got like a little weed guard underspin kind of. Nothing fancy, but good little pair up with this and that. Now, I can put these over here. Next thing. What was the next thing I picked up? Believe. Oh, this hat hook baggage. Believe the next thing I picked up was. Yeah, this right here. Boom! Yeah. I gotta grab the satchel after, actually right after this up. Big tackle box over there. But yeah, I got a Livingston Lures. I don't even look at the color. It's a little gold color. Lo Livingston Lures Pro Ripper. Where's the color? Gold Shad is what it's called. <clears throat> this is two fifths of an ounce. It's 2.6 inches. They're these are, I've used one before. I actually got it caught in the weeds after I caught a bunch of fish with it in the same day. And it's still going and going and going. I just got it caught in the weeds. Got pretty mad. Got pretty peeled. But these are the ones that make the sounds when you grab the hooks and the metal parts and they go in water. You hear that? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know, but I actually have a Livingston Livers jerk bait. Oh my god, I'm. Oh, that's from the plastics. I have a little 
sparkle glitters on me. But yeah, this oh, really nice detail on the bait there. That's real cool looking. Perfect belly. Right there, little signature livingstonlures.com right there. But when you grab any piece of metal, yeah, it's just the hooks. When you grab the hooks, they feel tension right here. And then it starts making the noise. I think that's what it is. Or when it just gets grabbed. It does it. I don't know. Wait, if you can hear that. I don't know where the mic is on. I'm filming off my phone. I don't know where the mic is on it, so. <laughs> Go around here, too. I don't know if you can hear that, but. Pretty cool. If you want to see what it looks like on the inside. But um, a lot of people already know about these by now. They're not. Too new, they're new to some people that haven't seen them before. Right. Says, wet your finger, step, <laughs> demo the lure. Wet your fingers, touch the front rear hooks, hold simultaneously to activate the lure. Hold up to your ear. You don't have to do that to wet your fingers, you just, just gotta grab it, it works. It's that good. Next thing after that was this boom, right here. This little Berklet, did I just say Berklet? Oh my lord. I got a Berkeley Spin Rocket 110. This is a half an ounce, this is half an ounce, four and a, four and a quarter inches. And it's got rattles on it. And what color is it? Donald? I think that's a color. Someone let me know if, that, if they know the exact name of the color or if you know something. It looks like some sort of, just some sort of shad with a yellow belly. So it looks like. It's got. All right, let's, let's just take it out. It says Danald, you know, something right here. Can't really see it that well, but I don't know what that means. But if I can. Oh, this is designed by Justin Lucas. Never met him. Never heard of him till now. I actually think I have heard of him before. Oh, come on. Yeah, open. Oh, God, this is going to be a pain in the butt right here. That little... This this right here is hard to open. I'm trying to get these right here. They're going to be bigger. Because I just, I just freaking cut my nails today. And as you know, if you're a guy and you just cut your nails, you can't do a lot of opening or scratching things off or nothing. It's kind of big pain, but you know what I'm talking about. Oh my god, that's a sharp hook. Whoa, that is shiny. So this is like a little top. Oh, that is good. Oh my lord. Look at all. Oh, loud. Look at the detail. I don't know if you can really see it that well, but the detail on this thing. I recommend you guys just picking one of these up to get it out of the package and look because the detail on this is so freaking there's like glitter everywhere and it looks perfect it's it's beautiful it's so beautiful don't I should know but there's three razor leaf sharp hooks here Jesus and there's two little propellers one in front one in the back this is like a little top water mm. yeah it's a top water lure Making sure I'm not that dumb. This top water lure it goes, scoots across, give it a chop here, a chop there, and goes <laughs> spit, spit. Basically, it'll work it like a spook, but kind of in a faster order ish. And you're gonna go one, two, three, like a one, two, sh and you're one, two, pop, short little tiny pause in between the third one. One, two, poof. Here you go, poof, poof, poof. If you fish a lot, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, this is really nice. I, I, I can't say I could recommend this because I haven't used it yet. But as so far, just if for the looks even, I'd recommend it. It is beautiful. If you're a top water lure guy, I definitely recommend this. I'm just, I don't care what lure it is, I'll use it. But I gotta make sure it's the right day, right title, all the fishing crap. Yeah. So much stuff. So much, so much stuff. Oh my god. So much stuff to know to be the fish from me, man. Next thing after that, I grabbed the satchel, of course. 
Yeah, I grabbed the satchel after I grabbed this, not the living settler. Then I grabbed that. Then I grabbed this. Oh, first time I grabbed it. Can I get myself Pfizer, bro? I got $120 for Christmas to spend on Bass Pro. Now, boom. Got myself a big, fat, heavy rattle trap. Crankbait. Whoops, crankbait. I think it's like a, it doesn't even, yeah, it's a half ounce, two and three quarters inches. It's a citrus shad, I believe. Does it say, yeah. Or chartreuse shad. Yeah, chartreuse shad. CHD shad, you can't see it, of course, but. Boom, I got that. Real nice detail. I've had, I have one of these in, I think it's called Texas shad. But. Real nice little bridle trap, they're real heavy, real starting good. And then next thing after that I grab one up grab myself a little pencil walking dog lure here. I don't I don't really care, I just wanted a little something. What the heck is that? What? Balance auto system. Must have premium dogs. It doesn't Tell you, there's like an open. It looks like there should be a lip there, but there's not supposed to be a lip in a pencil lure. Oh my god, the top of that looks so beautiful, and it just comes out and looks bloody. Slim dog bleeding Tennessee shed. Now uh, that is actually a beautiful color. It may look kind of cheesy with the blood, but if you come up here and it, you just look at it fully, it's beautiful. Now what I was just talking about. <laughs> was that right that right there let me know if you know about laser eye laser eye lures xps from bass pro by bass pro if you know if it's supposed to have that or not i don't know i'm still gonna keep it either way but all these xps lures guys if you ever notice they have this hook and it's actually so when it comes up here, they still, here, better look at it, it's kind of like that, like a T-hook, goes up to the bottom here, so when they still go to bite it, they'll get bit, and it doesn't just wrap around like that, if it gets stuck like that, you know what I mean, it doesn't just get stuck and they miss the bite, so you get that right there, and they only put one on, I don't know the reason of that, but pretty good, I think this is about a doesn't tell me the weight doesn't really matter feels 3 8 7 ounce just about Ow, keep poking myself jeez but pretty nice lure there throw this away there next thing I got okay. I like how I'm going to cry a lot of order I should do this pretty often but well, some rivet toads I wanted to pick up a pack now if you never had rivet toads they smell like garlic and No, I'm just kidding. I don't like it that much. But these are a bluegill color. These are basically, you give them a little tex a weightless Texas rig. You're going to skid them across the water. Or they have these little rivet toad hooks. You scoop, you know, kind of do it on there. Or like a weightless swim bait hook. And you kind of boom, 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 twist it on. Hook it, boom. Or you just hook it with a Texas rig. Boom, boom, boom. Without a weight. And basically, you're going to skim it across the top of the water. And you're going to swim it like a swim bait in the water but on top of the water not nothing special with these and not much special left here but a couple things it's funny how I got I didn't get that much and I spent 120 bucks but I still got enough some people some other people wouldn't have even got close to this much for 120 I'm pretty smart I sit there in the store and I'm just calculating this that that okay well, what I a little good method if you're ever a person who spends a lot of money and stuff and you kind of want to calculate what you're going to be close to and stuff basically go keep the month keep the like say something sixteen dollars it's like or say something's fourteen ninety nine go ahead and put it at sixteen okay and then keep go like a dollar fifty ahead or two dollars ahead of whatever something is 
it, it, I don't know, it's just what works for me, I end up always spending right on the money. I can spend a couple, one item or two items that are a couple more bucks than what I would be, so I'd probably really be calculating myself at like 127, or nearly only spent, I actually only spent 118, I have a dollar 81 cents left, but what are you going to get for a dollar and 81 cents? Well, you could get something, so I, okay, I'll stop talking about that. Next two things I got was swim jig and a little bisty flip jig. I want to get myself a new little flip jig so I can throw something on a spinning rod. And I want myself a new swim jig. I really wish I would have thought of jigs earlier because I got all that crap, all that crap, and I thought about jigs and I was like, uh... but yeah. Now, one last thing. Let me go get that receipt. What? It, oh, my phone is weird. Didn't pause. <gasps> Whoa, we're back. Yeah. So here's the receipt. Why is there like four things? Gift card receipt. Oh God! Don't tell me there's a bunch of these on there too. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of funny. Look at this. So. As you can see, there's a bunch of gift cards spent and used, but right there it says $118.17. I should have got some rewards freaking points from that, maybe. Should have some rewards points coming in for that. But this was the last last gift card with a dollar eighty-one cents on it. Can't really read it because this phone's camera is obviously pointed forwards. But yeah, this is the card with the dollar eighty one cents on it. I'm not showing you the back. Calm down, jeez. I'm not showing you the bag, I'm not showing you the numbers and spend a dollar my dollar at Bass Pro. Jeez. You guys are greedy. God. I'm really t probably talking to no one here. Don't know if I'm gonna get any views on this video. Again, I would like to see myself go further on YouTube. Cause I want I that's one thing I wanna do, which is be a YouTube like be like John B and them. It's I'd rather do that than sit down and have a desk job or something. It'd be, it's just boring. This this would be fun. I would like to have the chance to have monetized videos and stuff and all that. And more views, lots of oh, most subscribers I would ever ask for is probably I don't know ten thousand. That's all I'd want. That's all I'd ever want. Ten thousand. I wouldn't care if I went any further than that. That's the most I would ever want, but for right now, I'd be fine with a hundred and twenty. Because I have freaking seventy-one subscribers. Don't freak out. I know that's a lot of people. Just kidding. It's like nobody. Go shout this out to your friends or something. Get people to come and subscribe. I am very, very, very low on subscribers. I would like to get myself to... What's my mark that I need? I need to get to a thousand subscribers and I need people that will go and watch videos to the end because if I get that I get my watch time I can get monetized videos make banger videos giveaways stuff like that will come out for you I'll save up money give eventually get I'll give like away a John boat or something I don't know I mean, that could probably happen if you guys can help me out here you guys help me out I know I'm kind of looking like this the entire time almost but it's really because it's like you're looking at the camera, you're usually looking over there, and you're looking at the camera, but the camera's on my phone, it's like right there, so it's kind of weird to, yeah, but, yeah, I'm closing this out, I'm bump it on the Bass Pro card, I'll see you guys in the next video, I have it, I have it in the making, I went out fishing the other day, but, kind of, was just bad, I'm trying to change that video up and go to like a lake or something up here soon, but that's it for this video. I will see you closing out the Bass Pro card.